Good evening. What began with debates on a bill dividing up the province of Camarines Sur ended with personal accusations thrown against each other. Senators Antonio Chilianes and Juan Ponce Enrile, the Senate president, traded attacks which ended with one of them walking out of the hearing. Camille Elemia reports. Pero nakakalungkot sa pagpatakbo ng Senado, malayo ito sa katotohanan. Kasi po, ang kalakaran talaga dito ay kung gusto ko, isasagasa ko, kung ayaw ko, uupuan ko. Senator Trillanes, in his privileged speech today, accuses Senate President Enrile of either two things, that Enrile is deeply indebted to Arroyo or that Enrile is a GMA lackey. The debate started when Trillanes accused Enrile of railroading the passage of the bill seeking to divide Camarines Sur. Trillanes eventually withdrew from the majority bloc in the Senate. Either way, I have lost trust, faith, and confidence in Senators Enrile, Senator Enrile's capability to lead the Senate along the path consistent with the reform agenda that I espouse. With these, Enrile threatened he will publicly read the confidential notes taken by Ambassador Brady during her meeting with Trillanes last month. When Enrile continued reading the notes, Trillanes immediately walked out of the session hall, saying these are matters affecting national security. Some of Brady's notes include, Trillanes accuses businessman Manny Pangilinan and Foreign Affairs Secretary Albert Del Rosario of treason, saying they were trying to deviate the attention from the Reed Bank so they can buy time to increase their business. Trillanes claims Pangilinan and Del Rosario come a long way back. The senator also pushed for Secretary Mar Rojas as a replacement of Del Rosario. Trillanes also secretly met with China around 16 times. But Trillanes admits this. He even says he did talk to a counterpart in China who he only describes as a big name. Trillanes also allegedly told China that the Philippines is unable to protect its coastal areas and that it does not care about the ownership of the Panatag Shoal. Why has he been there six times and even without asking the permission of the Senate? The heated debate of the oldest and the youngest senator in today's Senate led to a more personal exchange. Enrile says Dralianis was mad at him because Dralianis' request for additional budget for his oversight committee was not granted by Enrile. It's enough that I read the, this uh, notes of Ambassador Brady to unmask this phantom of the opera in Philippine politics. Trillanes, for his part, remains firm. There is nothing wrong with the back-channel negotiations he did, saying it was authorized by the president. Trillanes adds Enrile was only furious because of alleged coup attempts against him. Uh, wag kang ano, wag kang pikon. Di ba? Eh, pag kami ginagawa kang ganyan, expects, pag kami tinatapa, expect these people na tinatapa ka mo na someday will stand up and say something about it. The youngest and the oldest senators in today's Senate caught up in a public word war. Both Senators Trillanes and Enrile divulged sensitive information of national concern. Trillanes on the inner dealings of the Senate, while Enrile on our foreign policies. These are crucial as they depict how the government deals with concerns affecting national security, which has been very evident today. Camille Alemia, Solar News.